Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on lists. Today we're going to look at some list theory and we're going to try and turn it into a practical program using Java to illustrate list concepts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with an empty list. Here we have a, a pointer to null and as we process the list we're going to be adding nodes or inserting nodes into the list. So here's a node. We know that the end of the list is now here because this next pointer points to null. If we were to add another node to the list, this node's pointer no longer points to null. It points to a new node and the new node points to null, telling us that we've reached the end of the list. Okay. As you can see, each node has data and a next pointer. This pointer is going to either point to null or it's going to point to a node. So the pointer's data type, interestingly, is node. Okay, The root's data type is node Okay, because they're referencing node objects. What we're going to attempt to do today is construct a node. So when we construct a node, we're going to give it some data and we're going to set its next pointer to be null. And then we're going to try and insert this node into the list. Okay, so let's have a look at how to do this in Java. The first thing we need to do is design our node class. And as we can see in this example, we've got two attributes. We've got data and we've got a pointer, the next pointer, which is of type node. Okay, this pointer is of type node because it references a node. Okay, so that's its data type. Now, when we construct a new node, we give it some data and we assign, if we just go back to the visual here, the next pointer to null. Okay, that's going to be how we're doing this. So there's our constructor method. We're using data hiding, so let's design some accessor methods. And we're going to have to design an accessor method for our next pointer. And as we process the list, we're going to have to find a way to update the pointer, the next pointer. So, for example, in this node here, the next pointer is points to null, but if we insert a new node into the list, that pointer now references a node. It doesn't reference null anymore. So we need a way to update the next pointer, which is this, in our node class. So we will need a mutator method for the next pointer. And all we're going to do is we're going to get a new next pointer from somewhere and we're going to assign that to the node's next pointer. Classic mutator method in Java. So this is our node class. Now let's use this class. I'm just going to imagine that we're now in a different class. e.g. Uh, the main, main class. Okay, so we're now in the main class and well, just to make that really clear, let's just do public static void main. Okay, so let's just go back to the beginning of our simulation. We need to do two things. We need to set up a root pointer. At the beginning of the program it's going to be uh, referencing null. 
and we also need to set up our new node. Okay, so let's do those two things um, as we get started. The data type of our root pointer is node, because it references nodes. But as we get started, it's going to use this wonderful placeholder null, the magical digital nothing. Now let's construct our new node. And according to our design, the constructor method takes a string and it will assign that string to the nodes um, or to the object's um, data attribute and it will set the next attribute to be null. Okay, so all we have to do is give it some data. We'll give it this string here, Z4. Brilliant, wow. We've got an empty list and we've got a new node. We're now going to try and put this node into this list. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is check if the list is currently empty. That would be a smart thing to do. So if root is currently null, wow, that's easy. All we have to do then is assign it the node. Okay, the Z4 node, not the BMW, but you know what I mean. Okay, so that's that's pretty straightforward. Done! Okay, we've just assigned a node to the root pointer. So this is kind of what, what it's going to look like. Now, if we're trying to insert a new node into a list that already has some nodes, we're going to have to do a... Um, a a bit of searching and li lists don't rely on indexes like arrays do so we can't use a for loop when we want to analyze a list we start at the root and while we haven't found the thing that we're looking for we we visit each node and the thing that we're looking for in this example is null. We're trying to find the end of the list because that's where we're going to insert the new node at the end of the list. Okay, so I'm going to create a, a, another pointer, a search pointer, which will start at root. I'm not going to let root do the searching because I don't want to lose this reference to root. I want to keep that. If I lose it, I'm not going to be able to process the list in the future. So I'm going to create a new pointer which references root and use that pointer to iterate through the list until we find null. So let's have a go at doing that. Let's create a search pointer and assign it to whatever root is pointing at. Okay, let me give myself a bit of room here. Now, this while loop, while my search pointer get next doesn't equal null. Okay, we're getting the next. So, search pointer is, is currently pointing to whatever root is pointing at, which is this node here. So, while search pointer dot get next, which is this one doesn't equal null, well that's true, doesn't equal null, we want to update the search pointer to to be this search point, to be this pointer here. Okay, we're just going to visit each pointer and assess if its next is null or not. Okay, so while search pointer dot get next doesn't equal null, we're going to update it. There's an interesting bit of code. Okay. While search pointer dot get next, which is this one, doesn't equal null. That's true. Search pointer will become search pointer dot get next, which is this one here. Okay. There's an interesting piece of code. Now, once we've, when we get out of this loop, 
it means that we found the node which has a get next of null. This is the node that we're looking for at the end of the list. Okay, so what we can do now is set this pointer to be this node. Okay, to reference this node. Now, fortunately, in our node class, we have a mutator method, setNext, which will update the pointer. Okay. So what we're going to do is search pointer dot setNext to be our new node. And what we've just done there is insert a new node at the end of a list. Take some time to think about it. There's some very interesting code in that algorithm.